finally a place to rest here. So I just finished taking a nice little hike around property that we're looking after this morning and uh, and just listening to the birds sing and watching the flowers bloom, all that fun stuff. So I was thinking about um, doing a video on uh, candle making and specifically uh, dipping candles. And when I was 10 or 12, my father used to start the old wood stove in the back and have different shapes and sizes of, of uh, um, jars and pots and melt different colors of wax and different scents of wax. Sometimes we'd get away with adding my dad's cologne or you know old spice or my mom's my mom's uh, uh, rose smelling uh, perfume. And uh, yeah, we'd have a great time just dipping these candles. Every once in a while, we'd have some drip on our hands, but it wasn't it wasn't that hot. So we used to have, a, um, you know, the five boy, five brothers and I used to have a blast making candles. And, and so I'm going to share that with you guys today. Hope you'll have fun. And I'll talk to you later. I'll finish off my hike. <laughs> Bye now. Okay, let's start. Uh, you're going to need a table to work on. So I found a nice table out the backyard. Um, next item would be a uh, a pot to melt your wax in so this one uh, i found at the thrift store for five dollars and uh, it works really well it's even got some markings on the side to show how much wax you've got in it but uh, and it also pours quite nice and then uh, i picked up a couple of chunks of wax here one big round one and some small pieces and you can use any kind of wax you want i like to the white wax so I chose that and here we've got um, uh, the uh, dipping container made out of stainless steel and it's actually just an old uh, uh, water bottle I cut the top off of it and drilled a couple of holes in each side and then put a, uh, uh, a hanger wire hanger through there so that I wouldn't burn my hands and uh, it it works pretty good and it's probably about eight inches high or so you can if you if you want your candles to be longer you just buy a longer um, pot for the pour the pouring the wax in so here we've got some uh, candle wick I picked this up at uh, Walmart for like three dollars um, you've got your scissors you can probably grab those around the house somewhere and um, yeah and, and newspaper of course so I just took a uh, newspaper and spread it out so that no wax would go on the table it was also good to do this outside because it uh, it cooled the wax off a little bit if your wax is too hot it's not gonna dip too well so it's good to know so then I uh, cut up the string uh, probably four four to six inches longer than my dipping container so I don't know these were maybe a foot a little over a foot um, each each uh, candle so I'm just gonna cut four up here and there's two and three and I just did it the easy way I didn't measure I just kind of strung along on the other string so there we go four so I'll just put those aside there for now Put my string up there and uh, ready to start dipping. So here we are inside. I brought the pots and the pans inside. I wanted to keep as much as I could outside because it was um, <clears throat> pretty uh, messy kind of dripping in that. So I just turned uh, the eye, the back eye on to low, as low as it'll go because you don't want to get your wax smoking. So. So then you uh, just put place your wax on there and let it cook for a while. And after a few minutes, you'll uh, you can look in there and see if it's melted. Here we got it; it's almost all melted now. This is after 10 minutes on low. So my wax is almost all melted there, and put it on for another three or four minutes, and there we're all melted. Sometimes you'll get the odd wick or piece in the bottom. You can always just kind of pull those out or, 
uh, leave them in there and get them later, whatever you want to do. So there, the wax is ready. So I'll take this back outside and we will get our uh, dipping container and fill it up with wax. So this wax was pretty hot right now so you want it to cool off a little bit when you're dipping because the cooler it is the actually the faster the candle uh, you, the candle uh, is created so so but you don't want it too cold because then it starts caking up on the sides so you can always have a little bit of uh, hot wax maybe not uh, pour it all in there but you'll have, you can keep a little hot wax in the pot to heat it up for later in case you want to add some more because as you make your candles the wax is going to go down so if you want your candles the same size you're going to have to ke keep adding a little more wax so here I am dipping the string or the wick into the uh, pot and I just did one dip and then I'm going to let it cool some people tie like you know bolts or weights on the end but you don't really need to do that <clears throat> we made some really nice candles without without having to weight it down but if you feel you need to put something weigh something down on the on the bottom you can put a little weight or a little uh, nut or washer or something on the bottom here now they're now that they're stiff you can just start your dipping so I'll dip it in and then hold it up for a little bit and dip it down again and hold it up for a bit seems to be coming along pretty good it takes uh, I don't know maybe 50 or 60 dips to, to make a candle so after I've dipped it a couple times and I went through all four of them hey how you doing <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah so I, I just uh, dipped them all and uh, then you just redo the process I'm speeding this up a little bit now so that you can you can see how uh, how uh, it's done and you don't have to wait I kind of kept the video down to about 20 minutes so so now that it's uh, dry you, you can even sometimes it'll curve a little bit you can I'm bending it kind of back a little bit so that it uh, can be stiff and it's still warm right now so it's easy to bend you could take another candle and you could twist it around this candle make two of them and you can do all sorts of uh, fun things with your candles when they're um, soft like this not to mention different you could add different uh, you know so a little bit of perfume or something too if you wanted a scent to it <clears throat> or you could uh, yeah if you want a, a female scent just use a female perfume and if you want a male scent you can use some cologne or something a little bit don't put too much in there though <clears throat> and uh, we're probably gonna uh, I would like to do a color here later on too so just let that dry for 10 minutes or so just so they so they're uh, nice and stiff and and then uh, come back and dip them again so this is the uh, tedious part of it you can see the candles a little bit crooked there but but when the when you get them thicker they seem to straighten up because uh, the more weight on there the, the heavier they get <clears throat> you can hang them I end up, I'm probably gonna hang them off the table here soon just so that they can dry um, oh there's my son he's coming to help me out so things should go a little bit faster and we got the dog helping out too there <laughs> you can see his nose in the picture so this is Joel he's gonna um, take uh, well, give me a break well, here from dip dipping and, dip it again. and I think what I'm going to do is go back inside and uh, and uh, try another color <clears throat> maybe I'll help him out first there we go this works really good you could even dip you know two of them at the same time if you had a, a larger pot some um, I've seen some people dip you know 10 12 at the same time depending on if you're doing this to sell them or just doing them for um, project or homeschooling or whatever you want to do that's kind of fun to do with the kids they like to get in there and 
play with the candles and try different things. See, nice and straight. <laughs> Joel's got one with a bent barrel there. He's already getting tired of dipping. Now he's just getting his jacket on. It's a little bit windy out, and so, uh, which is good because it helps the wax dry too when there's a little bit of a wind. Okay, well, I'm going to go back inside here and uh, I'll, uh, I'll get some. Oh, here, I'm going to get another color. You can use crayons for colors. So. I think I'm going to choose, hmm, what do you want to choose, Joel? Maybe we'll do uh, a blue. Sounds good. Take a blue out. Actually, Joel chose that color. He wanted blue, so. So I just... Uh, I'm going to hang a couple candles up first and find some little cracks in the table here to hang the candles on or whatever you can hang them on a <clears throat> little, uh, hang up a little rope or something to hang them off of. Sometimes there's a crust that comes along the top and if you don't want that to get on your candle just kind of break the crust and put it, push it to the side so that the candle doesn't get a chunk of wax on it. Joel's going to continue dipping here while I go uh, I'll create some color for the candles. He's still continuing with white. It's getting pretty big now. It's almost as big as uh should be able to fit in a candle holder pretty soon. It's almost there. A few more dips. Okay, turn the eye back on again in the house and your wax from before, you've still got a little bit left so if you throw that um, crayon in there, the blue crayon there with the wax, melt it up, it should have a nice, another nice uh, blue color. There it's melted after a few minutes, stir it up, you can take out the uh, the crayon uh, wrapper now. Not too hot. Wax doesn't usually burn you unless it's really, really hot. And if it's smoking, it's too hot. So try not to let it smoke. <clears throat> so here I am back again, and I've got the color now. So just kind of mix it up and uh, make sure that it's all. Mixed up good. So to do that I need to uh, take the wax that's in the um, cylinder there and pour it into the back into with the blue. So I've got the the white wax and I'm mixing it in with the, the blue. So it's actually quite a dark blue because I didn't use that much wax in there to melt up the crayon as I wanted my son to finish off the candle so I didn't melt it all together but now well, you just kind of mix it all together nice and now it's just a light blue hopefully just nice enough to add some color to our candle you can see that color there just a light blue it looks quite nice Joel can't wait to stick his candle in there and get a nice blue color on it. So there he goes. I let it cool for a bit, but I think it was pretty uh, cool already. So that's one dip. You can barely see the color on there, but after you can just make out a light tinge of blue on it. 
I'm just cleaning the bottom off there. That's a candle that I dipped previously. And that's how it comes out like that. So we should have four more after we're done or, or even more. I've been making some, I made some uh, the other day too, so I might have eight or 10 of them. Here we go. Joe can't wait to get his in there to get it, get some color on it. Now you can see my, the outs of my candles turning a nice light blue. And it almost fits in the candle holder. A few more dips. It's good to have a candle holder or something there so then you don't make them too big. <clears throat> I found these candle holders and and um, this, some of the items that I have here on the table at the at the thrift store too, so it's always handy when you're Looking to um, sp don't spend too much on the hobby. You can buy it all new if you wanted to, but it's just as fun if you if you can recycle some wax. Yeah, that one's getting pretty big now. There, kind of tap the bottom. You can make it a little flat on the bottom if you want to. And that one's done. Oh, here comes my daughter too. She's going to come and play a hand in uh, some candle making. I'll let them finish them off. <laughs> well, here we got the finished products. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I call this one cool blue light. The one that's burning. It's kinda got a half half blue and half white. And this one here is probably one of the straightest ones that came out. It's pretty neat. It's got a taper in the top. And it uh, looks like a really nice candle, but they're kind of all unique. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to to make dipping candles. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.